Katie here and Kay behind the camera and today I'm just going to show you two very simple ways of how to make pocket pages using a piece of A4 card. So said piece of A4 card okay this one we're going to make a landscape pocket page so I'm going to place it in my scoreboard I'm going to score at five and a half and eleven okay that's that there and then the idea is, falls over to there, line it up, okay, and then you'll see here, normally we have half an inch for um, a pocket page flap. You can trim, this is five eighths wide, you can trim an eighth off if you want, but otherwise just pop it there, pop it there, and then you put the double sided tape nearer to the edge here. I would actually probably trim that excess bit off. And it may look, you may think it's wider than that, but our tape is actually three eighths of an inch wide. Okay, so burnish that well. Take the end off. that is your perfect, very quick, landscape pocket page. So you, you, ready you, for your would album. you trim off the um, excess tape as well? Yes, here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that bit you would trim off. Okay. Okay. So then if you wanted to, if you wanted to give your that's a basic pocket page. If you wanted to give your pocket page more dimension, then you would add one of our flexi hinges into there. Like that, I'll just show you. And we've, I've made the flexi hinges using our clever strip tool, and you will see we have got videos on how to use that as well, haven't we, Kay? We have, and they're uploaded and everything. Oh, and I forgot to take that rabbit's ear out. Let's do that. And that's it. And that's your dimensional landscape pocket page ready to go. Okay, when now, you're ready. Hi, Maggie again and Okay, behind the camera again. Okay, and this time we're using our A4 sheet of card to make a portrait pocket page. A little bit different this one. So we're going to pop it in here. Landscape layout, you're going to score at five and seven eighths. You're going to turn it 90 degrees, and then you're going to score down half an inch. Okay. We need to do a bit of snipping with this, so I'm going to cut there. Do you want me to zoom in? Yep. Right, come towards me, and then towards me again. That's it, okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to cut there and cut there, and then I'll probably take my trimmer and I'm just going to cut. along that half inch score line there, straight up, that's it, okay. Now, you can either leave that bit straight, well okay, um, back towards you, but that's it. You can either leave that bit straight, but I think I probably would just trim it off again, but I trim it off afterwards just so I've got more idea, okay, so that's that. Right, you just leave it there so we can have a look at it, All right, move it towards you a tad, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right, then you're just going to fold this in half over there, lining your edges up. Start from the middle and work up. Okay, and then this one, this is going to be your sticky flap here. Just burnish that. More tape in here when I can find the end. Burnish. 
Yeah, you're wobbling the camera, so you must be burnishing properly. <laughs> yeah, if you're not wobbling the camera, you're not burnishing properly. Okay, and that one's going to fit on there. Okay. So this is the start of your portrait pocket page. Now again, you could either stick that straight onto a normal spine or pop your flexi hinge in here like that, which we'll do. Actually, it's going to be easier if I take. If you're not confident with this, put some glue on first on your double sided tape so you've got a bit of wiggle room. That's it. So now that page is sealed, and that's where you'd pop your tags or anything else in the top, and that's the bit that's going to fit onto your spine hinge like that.